हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी क्लास इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द सिलेबस ऑफ एम बी वन वन टू दैट इज पेपर सेकेंड विच इज टाइटल एज अ बेसिक टेक्निक्स इन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट द सिलेबस ऑफ पेपर फर्स्ट दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रोबियल वर्ल्ड माइसेल भूषण खैनाथ वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट जी एम डी आर्ट्स बी डब्ल्यू कॉमर्स and science college sinner so as per the previous lecture we have a two semester in this year first in first semester we have a three different courses that is mb111 mb112 and the mb113 and here are the titles of our respective uh, subjects that is paper first or the mb112 is introduction to microbial what then another one is the basic techniques in microbiology and third one is the practical course which is based on the paper 1 and the paper 2 in previous lecture we we already talk about the syllabus of uh, paper 1 that is introduction to microbial but in this video lecture we will talk about the syllabus of basic techniques in microbiology that is paper second paper second it also has a two credits out of which first credit has a different uh, topics out of this is the uh, one is the unit measurement what are the si unit then the we have a most important topic that is uh, microscopy in this microscopy topic we will study about the different kind of the microscope which is present in a uh, microbiology one is the bright field microscope then electromagnetic spectrum of what is the electromagnetic spectrum of light then the structure and the working of ray diagram of a compound light microscope concept of magnification numerical aperture and the resolving power there are the different types of the ray diagrams which is present in a micro uh, microscopy principle then there are the condenser which is present just beneath of the base of a microscope so that condenser if it is normally working so there is a no problem but there are the some problems occur in the condenser that will be called as the aberrations okay then what is the function of ips and the what the, the function of objectives in a microscope we will study in this topic in every microscopy technique we have to study the principle working and the ray diagram of that particular microscope so like a phase contrast microscope what is fluorescence microscopy electron microscopy like a transmission electron microscopy and the scanning electron microscopy then there is a second topic in the first period that is staining technique staining basically refer to as a to give a color to the cell okay so we have to study the definition of what are the stains what are the different types of the stain there are the some acidic stain there are the some basic stains which is present in um, microbiology then what are the properties and the role of the fixatives mordants decolorizing agents and the accentuators then we will study about the monochrome staining in this name you already got the point that mono means single chrome means color so we use a single color for the staining of a microorganism then we study about the what is a negative Uh, staining then the differential staining in this differential staining we we have to see the how on the basis of color we have we have to differentiate a bacteria into a two different categories therefore on the basis of color we are classifying the bacteria and therefore it is given name as a differential staining because we are, we have to find out the difference in in on the basis of color in a cell then there is a acid fast staining special staining like a uh, uh, some of the bacteria they have a uh, glycocalyx on their surfaces not all bacteria they have a glycocalyx or the capsule on their surfaces but those bacteria which have a capsule on their surfaces so for that particular bacteria there is a special technique known as a capsule staining then there is a cell wall staining that gram positive and the gram negative bacteria they has a uh, different uh, composition of cell wall so on the basis of cell wall we can distinguish a bacteria into two different categories then there are the some bacteria in unfavorable condition they produce as a spores now what is the spores spore basically a one hard 
component which is produced by the bacteria when they are present in an unfavorable condition. And now what is unfavorable condition? Unfavorable condition means if there is a, a no nutritional component is present in environment, there is a high acidic or the more basic pH uh, in an environment or suppose the temperature is higher than their moderate temperature. So this all conditions they are unfavorable for the growth of bacteria. So in that condition they produce a one hard structure that is known as a spores. We will talk about this what are the spores. Then the uh, flagella staining, then the lipid granule staining, metachromatic granule staining. So we will talk about this all into a next lectures. And there is a credit number second in which we have to study the sterilization and the disinfections. First one is the sterilization. Now the sterilization is basically killing of a microorganism by using a, some physical chemical agents. Okay, so like a physical agents that will be a heat. So you can directly heat the microorganism and kill that particular microorganism, or you can use a radiation in which you can use a ionizing radiation or the non-ionizing radiation. In that non-ionizing radiation, UV radiation is one of the best examples, and the ionizing radiation it has the alpha, beta, and the gamma rays which is utilized for the sterilization and another one is the filtration. Filtration is basically not a killing of microorganism it just filter a microorganism from the particular solvent. Then another uh, topic that is checking of efficiency of sterilization. So how you find out that that particular medium or the component is sterilized. There is a no microorganism is present in that particular component. So you have to check their efficiency. So you can check that efficiency by using a biological and the chemical indicators. Here is we have to study the dry and the moist uh, sterilization process where the example of dry sterilization process is uh, oven and the moist uh, sterilization process example is uh, Autoclave. We will study what are the wounds and the autoclave and the different uh, kinds of the instrument which is used in microbiology. Then another uh, topic in this uh, credit number two is the disinfection. You must heard about this term that is disinfection. Before injecting doctors, before injecting uh, uh, medicine or the drug in our body through the injection by intravenous mode. So at that time they generally clears a skin with the different disinfecting agent. They use a spirit basically it is alcohol. So they use a, that spirit to remove a microorganism which is present in our skin surface. So they can directly inject a drug in our body. So that will be called disinfection. Disinfection is basically not a killing of microorganisms. It's just a removal of microorganism from the particular substratum or the surface. So as a disinfection agent, we can use a different chemical agents. We will study how that chemical, uh, how, what is the mode of action of that chemical and how that removes the microorganism from the surface. In this uh, uh, Topic that chemical agents, there are different examples like so aldehyde, halogens, quaternary ammonium compounds, phenol, and the different phenolic compounds. Now, there are the different heavy metals which is also used as a uh, disinfection agent or disinfecting agents uh, like uh, mercury chloride, which is utilized as a disinfecting agent for the tissue culture. Then alcohol is basically used in laboratories as a disinfecting agent. Then different dyes and the detergents or the ethylene oxide is also used as a disinfecting agent. Then we have to study what is the ideal disinfectant or who will be the or who is the ideal disinfectant. So on the basis of characteristics we can uh, categorize the different disinfecting agents. So we have to study the uh, characteristics of all these disinfectants. Then we also have to check the what is the efficiency of that disinfectant agents and for checking the efficiency of that uh, disinfectant agents 
we generally calculate the phenol coefficient which is given by the Riedel and the Walker method. So here is the paper second syllabus. We have to study this all topic through the this semester. Okay. Thank you.